We begin tonight with the oppressive heat wave in the West, intensifying the already critical drought, record breaking temperatures well into the triple digits. This on the heels of already deadly heat that killed nearly 200 people in the Pacific Northwest in recent weeks. Volunteers you see there in Sacramento handing out water and food. The extreme heat fueling dozens of large fires as well. The Beckworth complex fire on the California Nevada border doubling in size in the last 24 hours. Reservoirs and lakes at dangerously low levels. 93% of the West experiencing drought conditions. The heat stretching from California to Montana. 32 million people now under heat alerts. Temperatures peaking today and tomorrow. Residents in several states being asked to conserve power and water. Rob Marciano standing by with the forecast. But first, ABC's Will Carr leads us off from Palm Desert, California. Tonight, life-threatening triple-digit temperatures are gripping much of the West. 32 million residents from California to Montana under excessive heat alerts, records shattering as the region faces its third wave of dangerous heat in just a matter of weeks. It's hot. It's like you're on fire. Sacramento hitting 111 degrees. Grand Junction, Colorado, 107. Palm Springs, 118 degrees this weekend. Death Valley reaching 130, just four degrees shy of the hottest temperature ever reached in the world. Here in Rancho Mirage, this playground's empty and for good reason. Check out just how hot it is out here, 164 degrees, hot enough to give a child third degree burns. These record temperatures come on the heels of that deadly heat wave in the Pacific Northwest that killed nearly 200 people. With this heat comes a drought emergency. In California, the entire state is facing a drought. 85% is now in extreme drought. This time last year, the extreme drought was just 2%. In a dramatic call to action, the governor this week calling on residents in industries to voluntarily cut their water usage by 15%. On top of the relentless drought and heat, the West is now battling wildfire season. How dangerous are these conditions? They're dangerous. We're exposed to the heat um, often, and these guys are working 24-hour, 36-hour shifts. The bootleg fire in Oregon threatening power lines used to import energy to California, which prompted officials today to issue a statewide alert asking all residents to conserve power in an attempt to stabilize the power grid. The state of Nevada also asking residents to conserve energy this weekend. Firefighters tonight battling the massive Beckworth complex fire on the California Nevada border. That fire doubling in size in just the past 24 hours with more than 55,000 acres burned. And Will Carr joins us now from Palm Desert, California. Will, this is the third heat wave in a row gripping much of the West. How rare is it to see such high temperatures this early and this often in the season? Wit, it is rare and it is hot here. This is the third heat wave we've had in just a short amount of time. At this point last year, we only had one heat wave with temperatures that reached these levels. And the fire crews here tell me they're not only worried about the weather this weekend, but they're worried about the impact it's going to have on fire season moving forward because we still have a long way to go. Wit. And those firefighters will have their hands full. Will Carr for us. Thank you. Let's get right to ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano. And Rob, this heat is truly historic. It is, you know, it, each one of these heat waves has been threatening or breaking all time high temperature records and Vegas could do just that. And it's expansive too. across 10 states. We've got heat alerts up. Uh, so this heat wave is encompassing a lot of people. 113 tomorrow as far north as Redding, California, 103 in Salt Lake. 117 is the all time record for Vegas. They'll threaten that again tomorrow, which should be the peak. But temperatures remain above 100 for a lot of these western cities into the work week. Severe storms tonight. We've got them from Oklahoma to Kentucky. A quieter day tomorrow. But but the next few hours will be rough in that part of the Midwest. Whit. All right, Rob, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.